How can I let go of those 15 pounds that I'm lugging around? And it's not just on my body, it's in my head. Every day I say, oh, I'm gonna watch one episode of a favorite show to get relaxed, eat my breakfast, and then I'll get my day started. Three hours later, after binge watching, while I'm gulping my third cup of coffee, I'm like, what happened? And it doesn't just happen to me in front of the TV. It could be in the garden, thinking about what has to be done, what wants to be moved, but no leaves are raked. Or it happens with my paperwork. I look at it, I read it, I put on post-it notes, I move it from the right side to the left side, but I don't actually move it to the complete pile. So how can I change what I'm thinking and stop lugging around the weight? The first thing that I have to do is start from the very beginning. I see the pattern. So what do I do? I eat my breakfast at my breakfast bar instead of in front of the TV. And then when I'm done, I charge into the bedroom to do what I'm scared to do, change out my clothes. Why am I scared? 15 pounds, and that's being very uh, underestimating probably more like 20, 25 pounds. Post COVID, post breakup, you know, post everything. I'm just, I gained weight. So I don't want to take out my spring and summer clothes and swap them out for my fall clothes, but I must do exactly that because otherwise I continue to stay weighted down. And as I'm sifting through my clothes and being really honest about what didn't really make it through the season or what didn't really fit last year, I start listening to the news and I hear about all these atrocities. The war in Yugoslavia is still going on, leaked documents that are going to cause big problems, you know, a hurricane in Florida with cars stuck on the road. And I start thinking, what's wrong with me? All I have is this 15 pounds. Well, you know what? That compare and despair crap has got to end because if I compare myself to people who have worse problems, then I think I'm okay and I do nothing. If I compare myself to people with smaller problems, then I think, what's wrong with me? And I get stuck in that loop and still do nothing. So either way, I have to honor and own my 15 pounds so I can move forward with doing it. And once I own it, I know exactly what to do. So what are the steps I take to change it? First, in my head, what will I be saying later? Why am I still watching TV? Or wow, I got those five bags up from the basement. The clothes are getting swapped out. I made progress. Second, I stay in my hula hoop. Now I really could never hula hoop. It just isn't the way my body moved. But I like the concept of a hula hoop. If I get into the hula hoop with you, I'm knocking us both down. What is my business? What's not my business? So just stay right there. The third is put my oxygen mask on first. So overused, overpopulized, but for a reason. If I don't take care of what's in my crazy brain, those 15 pounds, I'm gonna be lugging them to everything I do to help you and help others, and I won't be really showing up. The next thing is, it's just 10 minutes. Even if I make a 10 minute change, of, you know, I can boil pasta for 10 minutes, right? And those 10 minutes, empty one bag, look at one shelf, clean out one thing, works every time. And that 10 minutes, when it's not bad, I wanna do the next 10 minutes. And then I have a pro tip on discarding. When you decide to get rid of things, and remember, keep what you love, read part one, my series of keep, love what you have, so you're not reaching over things you don't want, Get rid of them right away. For me, I have to drive to the dump, but if I don't put them in that discard pile and get rid of them right away, they are making it back into my you know, existence and I'm gonna face the same thing again, so get rid of them. So what's next? Honor all the truths. The truth is what's happening in the world, what's bothering you, and your own 15 pounds. Take small steps that actually make a huge difference over time. Chip away at those big issues by spending some time on yourself and then spending time on others so you're really ready to show up. And finally, take action. Do something different, slowly and steady, and those 15 pounds will dissolve in weight and in reality. Eileen Marcus, I focus on ladderism, how you climb up and down the ladder without killing yourself, killing anyone else, and just getting things done. Have a great day.